Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. Recently, I reread the book It Might Be In Too Subtle by Sam Zell, who is one of the most successful real estate investors of recent times. If you're not sure who Sam Zell is, he was the founder of Equity Group Investments back in the 1960s. This company was later on divided into several smaller ones but still exist today. For example, Equity Residential, Equity Lifestyle Properties, and also Equity Office which was sold to Blackstone in 2007 for $39 billion. And also he's considered the creator of the REIT structure, which is widely used by public and private enterprises. So I think it's safe to say Sam Zhao knows real estate and successes like his was not an accident. So in today's video, let's take a look at Sam Zhao's wisdom and see how that can help us. And the reason I want to create this video for you today is when Sam Zhao started a company back in the 1960s, for the first 15 years, and the economic landscape was very similar to what we are going through today, where the interest rates going up so rapidly, and so is inflation. For example, the US Treasury bond yield was 15% in 1980. So the first advice I took from Sam Zhao is directly related to this subject. In this book, Sam Zhao wrote, we believe the real money in real estate came from borrowing long-term fixed rate debt in an inflationary scenario that ultimately depreciates the value of the loan and increases the position of the borrower. And commercial real estate is usually seen as a hedge against inflation because of the leverages you're taking and also your power to increase rent, which is usually tied to the consumer price index. For example, hotel rates reset on a daily basis. Multifamily leases tend to be renewed every six to 12 months Industrial and retail leases are tied directly to the CPIs. So with the rental income increasing, if you have a fixed rate debt where you pay a fixed amount, eventually your cash flow will become stronger and stronger because your rents are increasing and your payments are going to stay the same. Although nobody has the crystal ball to predict how high the interest rate will go, it will still be pretty safe to say the interest rate will keep going up or at least stay at this level because the interest rate has been record low and the only place for the interest rate to go is to go up. So moral of the story is if you are thinking about holding an asset for as long as you can, maybe it's time for you to lock in a fixed rate. The second piece of advice I took from Sam Zhao is his emphasis on the replacement cost, which he believes is the most reliable indicator to value properties. If you're not sure what a replacement cost is, that is, if you knock down this existing property exactly at this location, how much it's going to cost you to rebuild another one. So if you look at a market where the replacement cost is higher than what you are paying for an existing asset, you might just want to focus your acquisition on existing assets rather than going through the development stage. By doing so, you can keep the inventory relatively low and then maintain your strong position as a landlord. And also in the case that new competition comes in and developers start to creating new products, because of the higher cost of construction, their rent, once it's ready for the market, will also tend to be higher than what you are charging now. That will actually make your product a cheaper, affordable alternative, and eventually you're gonna become a niche player. The last piece of advice I took from Sam Zhao is, every day you chose to hold an asset, you are also chosen to buy it. Sam Zhao used his own example where he sold equity office to Blackstone for $39 billion. He couldn't justify the purchase price of $39 billion, so he knew it was time for him to get out. After all, real estate are investments that help you make profits. So if it's a good time for you to sell and move to the next one, it's time for you to sell and cash out. So these are the top three principles I took from Sam Zhao. What do you think about these principles? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. So that being said, thank you for watching today's video. If you like our content, if you find it value, please support us by like, comment, and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.